So talk to me about your experience in 2002, because you definitely had a unique approach. So will you share that story? I really would love you to do so. We had a challenge. Um, As I said, no two weeks off. And then we were facing uh, our former coach who knew all of our signals. So no time to really change the signals. That was the football challenge. They knew everything we were going to do, but we had another challenge and it's very, very sad. Yes. It absolutely impacted us on the field, but it also impacted a human life. Uh, Barrett Robbins was missing from our facility in San Diego for a number of days and ultimately didn't play in the game. And I'll, I'll back up for one second and tell you that the morning of the game, I went out for a run. And when I got back to the parking lot of the hotel, and this was early, 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 this was, you know, 5 a.m., you know, before 6 a.m., as I was getting back to the hotel, I saw Barrett getting out of a cab. And he was absolutely fine. He was, you know, in, in a state where he could have played in the game. And the reason we had a lovely conversation, he went to his room. I was not aware he had been missing. That had not been shared with me. So when I had this conversation with Barrett, um, I didn't know the backdrop. I didn't know that there had been issues. And I had a conversation with him, which suggested that he was fine and ready to go. Get up to my room. A few minutes later, Al calls me and says, the coach and the gentleman who was overseeing our football ops had decided they didn't want Barrett to play. They didn't think he could play. And I said to Al, I just saw Barrett. I just saw him 10 minutes ago in the lobby. He can play. What are you talking about? And Al said, he listened to me. I explained my conversation with Barrett. Um, Boy, Susie, this is bringing back memories. I haven't shared all this with anyone to this extent ever. Um, And I said to Al, no, he can play. I just had a conversation with him. And he said, kid, the coach and the guy who is overseeing our football. And I'll tell you, you know, Bill Callahan and Bruce Allen decided they didn't want Barrett to play. And I said, he can play. And Al said, you know, he was leaving it up to Bruce and to, to Bill. I got off the phone and I looked at my husband and I said, we just lost this game. Why, said, why wouldn't they, why wouldn't they let him play? Well, let me just finish why I mm. said, if I could, um, the reason I said, we just lost this game is up until Super Bowl, we had started the same five offensive linemen in every single game that season, regular season and playoffs. And our offensive line was a well-oiled machine. And I knew that when we sat Barrett, that I I thought we'd lose the game. Um, You know, their view, and I haven't discussed this at length with Bill or Bruce since then, was that he had gone missing and they didn't think that was the right thing. And of course, it's not right for someone to go missing, but Barrett had medical issues, which I think should have been taken into account. And they didn't believe he should be able to play with the team. And the point I made to Al, and I make this point a lot, when you sit someone because you're disciplining them or don't believe they should play because of some sort of behavior, you're not just disciplining that player. You're harming the whole team. So, yeah, maybe you wanted to sit Barrett because you didn't think Barrett should play because he had let his team down. And, again, there were medical issues associated with it. But irrespective when they chose to sit Barrett, they harmed the whole team. I can't imagine what that was like. And then how the, how you answered the team and did, did the team want him to play? I can't answer that for you, Susie, because that, I was not involved in those meetings. As I said, I wasn't even made aware that Barrett had gone me- missing. Hell, I'd have gotten in a car like Nancy Drew or Harriet the Spy, and I'd have gone looking for Barrett had I known. But the first I learned that he had been missing was when Al called my room and said, they decided they don't want him to play because he had been missing. And I said, what are you talking about? I just saw him. He's fine. He can play. And again, you know, many, many, many people were angry at Barrett. And of course he should not have left the team, but there were very sad medical issues. And the thing that bothered me the most um, is by sitting him, by sending him home, that didn't just punish Barrett. That punished everyone in the organization. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. We all know how that game ended up. Check out new episodes of What the Football with Susie Schuster and Amy Trask every Tuesday. Watch us on the Rich Eisen Show YouTube page or follow and listen wherever you get your podcasts.